25 countries and places and over 200 students that are participating this year in showcasing their remarkable bulletin boards, um, their PowerPoint presentations and their mouth-watering ethnic dishes. And this is the opportunity to um, enjoy our roots and be proud of who we are because it makes us the individuals that we are today. It really is busy today. Mm -hmm. Well, even, it's always busy. It's crazy. Even though it's a school and no one's learning today, everyone's out here having fun. Mm -hmm. It's so great. Like when we have so much cultural diversity here, it's this, just the perfect event for us. This really only happens at our school. You'll never find this anywhere else. Mm -hmm. No other school has have this much amount of diversity. Alors, euh, est-ce que ça c'est une nourriture qui est vraiment une partie de la culture du, du Québec? Oui, c'est vraiment, vraiment populaire. Au Québec, oui. Tous les grands-parents du Québec, c'est pour moi. All the grandparents know how to make this. <laughs> so this is like really a family food that everyone knows how to make. Very traditional. All right. Great. Oh That's my gosh. Really good. Did you make that yourself? Yes, I did. With only the four ingredients? That's crazy. Really good. Thank you. So good. Thank you. Can I have coffee? Oh, this is the real coffee, the real stuff. <laughs> what do you oh, cool. it's in the Ukraine. Ukraine. What is it again? It's beet soup. It has a bunch of <laughs> beets, um, carrots, cabbage, um, Uh, celery, potatoes. Celery, yeah. Potatoes. So it's like a, a traditional food kind of? Definitely. Yeah. It's Definitely. something that they would use like all of the veggies in to make like a hearty oh, soup, cool. right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to try it? Sure. Let's try one. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's really good. Move along. We could go to... What about going to the Philippines? That's a whole different continent over there. Taho. Taho is a Philippine street food sold by peddlers known as Mata. Mata. How do you pronounce that? Mag. I'll have that, please. There's the people over there that you give it to. Thank you. This year we're both um, doing Japan. Mm -hmm. So we had sushi, poke sticks, and a vegetarian curry. Last year I did Kenya. And I did uh, South Korea last year, too. And the year before that, I did Scotland. Uh, so you do a whole variety of countries. You can do anyone you want with any amount of people. Yeah. It's just really fun to have that option of not, not, not only choosing new countries to eat from, but participating in new countries, too. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important to know, and I know that I've learned this through Taste of St. Joe's, um, kind of the cultural background of the people like we go to school with and how special and important that can be for everybody and that's definitely shown through the booths and the food that we make here at Taste of St. Joe's and I think it's like how seriously they take it you know yeah. it's like these people are willing to go out of their way to make food to make these posters to put in the time and effort to make this for everybody like no one's forcing them to do it yeah it's really because they care about their own country so it's nice to see how everyone really cares where they come from yeah they're really you know? passionate about it Hola, ¿cómo están? Hola, Hola. todos. 